Hello, this is Nassim al Nadim, and today I'm going to show you a little overview on how I automate my social medias using Social Rabbit. So, Social Rabbit is a plugin that for WordPress, and after you plug, after you install it, this is pretty much the interface for it. Um, so, an overview. This is the dashboard for it. There's four different platforms that this thing, this this tool can be used on. The main one that's that that you should focus on right now is potentially Instagram because it's the most engaged engaged one. Now the tools for a lot of these are very similar, so we'll just go over Instagram. And once you figure that out, you should be able to figure out all the other tools very e easily. So first, we go to overview. Overview just shows you a sample and a chart of everything that's happened so far since it's been activated and everything it's been doing. Um, there's quite a few and it takes it keeps a pretty good log of it as well as giving you very nice stats um, right here. Now, the first thing you would want to do once you first come here is authorize and authorize yourself, of course. And so there's several features here that I would like to talk about. The first one is grabber now what grabber does it's is it's a reposting tool so um, based on your criteria it will actually grab content from other Instagram accounts and repost them as if you were posting them yourself um, of course you give your photo credit where photo credit is due um, so it's simple all you have to do is turn it on right here turn it off and on you put a timer on it um, I put a five hours, five minutes so that it seems a little bit random on how, when it comes up, not necessarily uh, automated, completely automated. So audience perception. Um, you could just turn on how often you want this to post. And then this is the actual text area right here. So what these are right here, they're called spinners. Um, so these are all different spinners. So what I do is I use several, uh, I, want, I usually like to have about two, three lines of spinning uh, happening so what happens is between these brackets is one spinner so the computer will pick any one of these lines divided by these um, by these lines right here um, who likes this isn't this awesome great huh incredible fantastic these are all options that it could pick from this combined with the next part um, this I call this the engagement part a question or in something engaging and then the second part that will always come up it will is something to either uh, remind the audience to like or tag their friends um, on this picture or on this post. So this is the second uh, second part of the spinner. Now I could keep having more, but it's not necessarily necessary. Um, these are all the different uh, tags that I've researched and I've already put them in. Instagram allows up to thirty, so always keep that in mind. Uh, since it is a repost, I want to make sure people know that it's a repost. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do any plagiarism type things. So if I do use other people's posts, um, I make sure to always give them proper credit, such as the photo credit right here, as well as making sure people know that it's a repost. Um, now, there's other factors that you could put in, such as uh, variables, such as titles, URLs, excerpts, full text, home URLs, site names. These are usually uh, information that you would pull from the person, uh, from the account that you're getting this content from. So, um, what I've done is put an excerpt right here, uh, ex uh, excerpt, uh, mainly because a lot of people have a lot of text, and having that much text, it really bogs down, um, bogs down the post. And what happens a lot of times is that those the other people's text have. Uh, hashtags in them as well, and having too many hashtags, more than 30, will make it so that none of none of not, no writing is posted. So you always want to make sure that you have enough. Uh, that you don't have too many hashtags for yourself, especially if you're gonna put excerpts. Um, now, to give you a uh, contrast example to that one, um, this is another account right here. Uh, for this grabber, I don't actually put any excerpts at all in it. Why? Because um, I don't have to worry about them. I don't have to worry about how many uh, how many hashtags I use. I could always use my maximum. Um, but then again, these are two separate accounts which do separate things, and um, 
So th w this one doesn't necessarily need excerpts, while well, this one, it, it benefits from it. Just to show you an example of what I mean, let's go look at one of the posts. So this was posted about three hours ago. This is the post, and as I was saying, um, this one, because it, it got a, this excerpt from the original post, it didn't actually post any actual text with it because there's potentially too many comments in there. So what I would have to do is go back in there and uh, put in the text myself uh, manually. However, the problem with, however, that same problem is does not exist on this one, because I don't actually pull any excerpt. My text is always there because uh, I all, I'm always in control of how many uh, hashtags are posted. So yeah, so that's the grabber. It's a fantastic tool, very powerful. I use it all the time. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So the other, this is this is a automation tool that very few other people actually offer, but this is one of the ones that I love about Social Rabbit. Now, now I'm going to show you some tools that pretty much are offered by a lot of other uh, automation people. This is the promoter. This will automatically like, comment, follow, and unfollow uh, people you designate. How can you designate people? This, this is the entire database of people that I've designated to like, comment, and unfollow, follow slash unfollow. Um, it's, a, it, it's, quite a, it's a quite a big page. You can search, search for people very easily right here. This is a travel blog, um, so I could just search for different travel um, accounts right here. And I could just get them right here. National Geography, I believe it's already in there. Um, so yeah, I could just I could just go in there and do whatever I need to do. I could just add them very easily like that. And boom, they're in my database now. So I will automatically like, comment, follow, and unfollow their their uh, posts. So, and this will happen every five minutes. The program itself does a pretty good job at anti-spamming. So it makes sure that it doesn't become off as a spam bot. So there's timers for everything. So five minutes is is the lowest amount you could do because anything less than that, you might you may get flagged as spammer. And I've never had that problem with this one, so which is fantastic. So another tool uh, is mutual promotion. Now it's the same thing as a, pr a promoter, but mutual promotion. What this one does is it allows you to mutually promote other people that use this software. So. Um, using that niche community together you get to grow a lot faster get a lot more followers and a lot more interactions right away um, there's a shout out shout out uh, functionality right here which is works similarly to the other grabber and promoter where you would fill out uh, your the people that you would want the user bait uh, and according to that user database right here you could just um, put out a template right here such as saying hey I do I, I'm an Instagram um, influencer if you'd like to do shout outs with me or if you'd like to do shout outs for me, contact me and this can happen automated. Um, so you don't have to keep on manually doing this every time. Fantastic for influencers who wants to um, get, uh, get paid for shout outs as well as for anyone else who wants to do shout outs and willing to either pay influencers or l give them some kind of benefits. And this is a fantastic tool, especially with the influencer market growing. Um, now, let's talk about some of the more common tools that are used by almost every other automation tool. Okay, so Poster. Uh, poster is literally uh, something, it's, it's a bot that will automatically post anything from your own website. Um, so this one, uh, this Poster publishes products from your website. So one thing I mentioned was that Social Rabbit was developed by the dropshipping community. And so um, dropshipping community has a lot of products. And so this poster automatically allows you to, it just grabs your own product images from different places and will automatically post them. You can make them as carousel, you can make the, and it'll automatically crop the images and it'll even edit the live link in your bio so that when you post it, um, you can always say this line right here, live link in bio, and so people can always go to the live link and always check it out. You could even um, uh, have it posted all, um, all automatically on the timer, whether it be from the newest ones you posted, newest items you added to the oldest items you added, or even from a certain date that you posted from. Um, there's a timer in it as usual, 
and you could even have exclusion of items. Um, as you can see here, I excluded most of the items except pretty much backpacks when I had it on. And yes, items added since a certain date. So it's quite a bit of functionality. Uh, Poster allows you to automatically post all your uh, products on a systematic basis so you don't have to consistently remind yourself to do it. And of course, you have all your spinners and all your tags right here, text right here, title, title of, of, of the product, um, price, sale price. What is the sale price? You can put the actual price or the sale price on it. So however you'd like, um, including uh, the emojis. Emojis are very much used in Instagram. Um, you have to know how to use them. You don't want to necessarily know overfill or underfill. So, and this tool actually allows you to have your own emojis right here. Fantastic tool. And that actually exists for all the other, all, all, all text writing um, areas. Now, let's move on to the gallery. The gallery, um, this is what a lot of other automation tools use. Pretty much this one feature right here is what every other, um, every other automation tool is trying to sell you. Um, this one feature right here, gallery. Um, so uh, again, just like every all the other tools, there's a timer on here. You can set your timer. You can sort by um, randomly. What this does is the gallery that's on your website will be automatically posted onto the onto Instagram how you choose. Now you could choose it through right here, media, um, add media. Um, you could import it, but the but reality is it still imports it right into your own database, your own um, web hosting database um, and from that one that's where it adds it from so say I have all these all these products or, or anything however images I want so I can just add these and and say okay select this one and I can select my timers and everything that I want and it'll post it based on those times um, however one drawback which it could be a drawback it could be an upside as well is this um, Using this feature, you will take up storage in your website storage area, whether it be hosted through someone else or hosted through your own private servers, it still takes up storage. That's good and bad. It's good because you have unlimited storage potentially um, for a set cost, um, whereas everyone else will charge you quite a bit more as soon as you start using more data from them because as you post further and further out one month out two month out three month out uh, of posting and you plan all those you have to upload all those images into a cloud server so it can it can save them and post them and uh, when it's when it's time um, every other automation tool will charge you based on that and those prices go up quite high as you as you start getting more images and start using more of their cloud storage however in this one um, so my hosting, I have 40 gigs SSD, and so I have a quick, good bit of space. I can actually upload good, quite a bit, several months worth of material, images, videos, what have you, and have them uh, pre-scheduled to be posted at certain times. I would recommend, obviously, to delete those posts if you're not going to be using them on the website afterwards, so as not to bog down your website, website itself. Besides that feature, um, besides that factor, this feature is fantastic. It is one feature that everyone is trying to sell, but this is just a, another feature built into here. So I'm going to delete this since I don't necessarily want this to be posted. Um, so let's go back to Instagram. Okay, so we've looked at poster. We've looked at gallery just now. This is and this is the this is how you can pre-plan the entire your entire calendar practically. Um, same thing with your stories. You can you can uh, post to your stories using the same settings as Media Gallery. The blog is the same. Very it works very similar to how Poster does, but instead of posting your items and products, it will post your blog posts. So if you have certain blog posts, this my website has very little, but if you uh, uh, if you had them, you can share them at certain times, so you don't always have to remember them. Um, one other factor that I forgot to mention in gallery one fantastic thing is if you have certain um, if you have certain posts that you want to be posted every week this is fantastically uh, these, these are things that are fantastic for it okay so um, we've talked about blog we've talked about grabber promoter we've talked about all of these actually we I think we've covered all of this right now um, so yeah 
So Instagram is the most popular right now. I this is this, that's why I use this the most. Facebook is also fairly popular with certain crowds. So it also has fun certain functionality. When it's poster, it does the same functionality, but for um, Facebook gallery, same thing, but for Facebook blog, same thing. Um, and this is your media planner right here, so you could actually plan out what you want to do, what days, um, and have those planned out properly. Um, Pinterest, it works very similarly um, to be able to post everything you need. It doesn't have a grabber. In fact, the grabber only uh, exists, I believe, in the Instagram where, you, where you're able to grab other people's and post it again. Um, but Pinterest, I use this in a in a slightly different way. What I do is I post my actual. I use this to actually post all my items um, automatically, so I don't have to post them manually um, onto Pinterest. And then what I do is instead of necessarily uh, automating everything on this fashion, I use IFTTT to forward everything I automated from Instagram to Pinterest. So very simple thing. I hope this explanation was easy enough to follow. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email me. Um, yeah, this is Social, Social Rabbit and automating your social medias. Thank you. Have a great day.